We are super excited to be at the ICT Spring 2023 to record a whole Tech Talk season about tech for sustainability. ICT Spring is one of the top tech conferences in Europe where business decision makers, innovation managers, startups, researchers and venture capitalists get to network and exchange knowledge. We have a superb lineup of guests who share with us what sustainability means to them, their views on how technology impacts the sustainable future of the world, and what their company is doing to contribute to that future. Among other things, we also ask them about how they stay at the forefront of technological advancements and use them to address sustainability challenges. In this episode, we speak with Lily Wang, partner at Expon Capital. Are you as excited as we are? So let's jump right into it. Welcome to a new episode of Tech Talk. This is episode three of our ICT Spring special season, and it's called The One on Tech for Sustainability with Expon Capital. That's right. And today we are happy to have with us Lily Wang, partner at Expon Capital. Welcome, Lily. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Are you enjoying your time at the ICT Spring? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm going to kick us off with the first question. What does sustainability mean to you in a few words? Yeah, I would say more from our job perspective as a venture capital investor. Uh, I think what sustainability means for us is first from our fund perspective is about uh, how do we measure sustainability? And uh, that means how do we actually uh, quantify it and to make sure that we are more focused on sustainability instead of on greenwashing. And secondly, it's also about how to channel the capital to the companies and the talents uh, that are um, like sort of creating new technology in the sustainability field. So that could be means recycling, that could be means uh, water quality, that could be means renewable energy, that could be also mean circular economy. Uh, and in your view, how does technology impact uh, the sustainable future of the world? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, as a venture capital firm, we receive around you know, 50 page deck from startups every week. So there are always you know, amazing ideas from people about how to you know, create, use technology and to change people's behavior and change how we do business. Um, and I would say that, um, so first, um, in terms of from technology perspective, we see both on the software and hardware perspective that company is trying to make a difference. And from a software perspective, we see more people using software, for example, um, you know, having a marketplace for refurbished phones is one of our portfolio company we invested in Austria, and they have a very strong pan-European presence. And we also see companies, uh, for example, what they do, they have a water power plant, the company costs in power based in Netherlands. So during the peak power, peak power, uh, peak consumption period for uh, electricity, you can add some industrial plants. Um, for example, the greenhouses and uh, to turn off just electricity for a few minutes. So in this way, the uh, uh, the coal power plant doesn't have to be turned on to f uh, meet that peak power consumption. So this is what we see as software solutions that can actually make a big difference, even though it's just a piece of coal uh, for the company. Um, but we also see um, there's a more and more founders today really working on the hardware perspective. So for example, in Luxembourg, there's a company called Circular Iron. They're doing uh, recycling of batteries. And we also see other companies that are working on um, different battery, battery technologies. And I think we all witnessed also the evolution of electric vehicles, uh, but there are many more solutions that really focus on the hardware and the engineering. And this is also what we see the tech talents uh, are going today uh, to go more into the hardware, more difficult and more challenging entrepreneurship environment. And um, how does your company contribute to that sustainable future? Yeah. Um, so as investors, so we raise money from other uh, uh, people for we raise money, maybe from, you can have LPs of corporates, of governments, family offices. And our main goal is first to generate returns through with this money, right? 
And so, but with this money, you know, there's so many investment out there. So what we really do is how do we channel this money to generate returns, but to make investment in companies that we believe are making a positive impact. Uh, so this is what we do uh, as investors, but also what we want to make sure is the company that we invest, uh, they will be growing sustainably and also scalably, right? So it's not a grants to put into a startup to doing R&D, but it's to make sure that they have a product and they are developing this product and they're commercializing it. So they will make sure their technology can be used for many customers. And in the end, they will make a very big impact. Can you tell me, just out of curiosity, yeah. what is one technology you find very, very uh, interesting in terms of, you know, the impact that it has on uh, improving the sustainability of our world? Yeah, uh, so I think it's hard to pick about just uh, one uh, technology. Um, but I would say that, uh, you know, in the forefront, there's a lot of people also talking about fusion energy and how is it going to change the world. And we see this is very frontier. It's not necessarily our investment focus, uh, but it's definitely, you know, one area that is uh, we are very passionate about. Um, and uh, what we also see in the technology world is there are great technology out there. And for example, you know, AI has been researched back in the 80s, right? And same with quantum computing, it has been you know, always there for the past years. But every 10 years, you have a new wave. So people are trying to use technology developed in the past to see, okay, how can we actually put these research ideas that was well developed by scientists into the real world application. And it's always about the right timing, right? So if there was no cloud, there would not be AI. So you have to wait for the infrastructure and the cloud to come, to come first. Um, so for us, it's always about the right timing as well. Um, make, um, and also the right people to bring those technology into commercial use. And what are the biggest challenges you face uh, in uh, when you're trying to to invest in companies that have sustainable products or who are working towards a more sustainable in, uh, world? Yeah. Um, so I think for any company, so if you talk to any of our portfolio company, ask them what is your biggest challenge. So it's always talent, right? Um, so today there are you know, people working with like big companies and you're an entrepreneur, but you're not an expert in everything, right? <laughs> Maybe you know about the technology, but you don't know about the commercial size, you don't know about operation, you have never built an organization. Um, so it's always to attract the good talents to the entrepreneurship environment, to the startup environment, and for them also to be willing to take the risk to join this uh, journey. So for us, uh, I think to invest in a startup at a very early stage, they have five to 10 people team and anything can go wrong in the next you know, two years, four years, 10 years. Um, and it's very important for the founders able to continuously pivot and to be open to ideas. Uh, but the, the most important thing is to attract the good talents around them so they can really level up to become you know, one day really a, a unicorn stage company. And how do you ensure that your organization stays at the forefront of technological advancements and actually uses them to address uh, sustainability challenges? Yeah. So for us as a VC, we are always learn from entrepreneurs, right? So we don't pretend to be expert in any other domains. And even though maybe we look at one company, let's say three years ago, but we look at another company that came back to us in the same domain right now, it would be very different. Uh, so for us, it's always about um say curiosity and to have conversation with entrepreneurs to actually listen to what they have in their mind. Um, but obviously we also go to specialist conference so we understand what's the current trend. Um, and also you know, for, for us it's every day is learning uh, and reading uh, and also asking the right questions uh, to people. Um, and I think also what important uh, from a VC perspective is to also build a network 
work uh, around us with those industry expertise. So we can ask opinions from, and we can have conversations, and we can really understand the industry dynamics. Uh, but from a sustainability perspective, there's also a very strong community um, in Europe. So we also have a climate tech VC group. Um, so where people share technology ideas and also investment opportunities, uh, but also with uh, people who have been in this field, um, like either from a big company perspective and to also have a conversation with them. So what they are doing in their internal innovation um, I think while we invest in startup, we always believe in startup, but sometimes I think we also uh, really value the, um, the experience and knowledge from people with many years experience in big corporations as well. It's a very nice approach, I would say. Thank um, you. How do you see technology changing in the next five years uh, to make the world more sustainable? Yeah. Um, so I think... Um, from um, I think from our perspective, it's more to see how uh, people are using technology in uh, the right domains, right? So imagine you're a startup, you can do any type of business, right? And uh, why would you start a company uh, doing focusing on sustainability? And where do you see um, you know there's opportunities in sustainability? Um, so I think for us is we actually focus a lot also on people with business ideas. Right? They see, okay, what is in need uh, in this market? Either maybe it can be go very technical, very, uh, you know, industrial focus. Um, uh, but then is also to put them in combination with people with uh, the tech background, like say either software development or hardware engineering, and this, so they form uh, the team together in order to tackle that problem. Um, especially when you look at a startup at a very early stage, and you look at them two years later, they may do very com completely different things. Uh, so I think for us, when we look at uh, you know uh, technology trends, uh, what we see is also from a business perspective, we're at the you know, opportunities uh, for entrepreneurs to, to tackle. What is your key takeaway from participating at the ICT Spring? Um, so I, I think the first, uh, first takeaway is, I think it's great to see many international startups um, coming to Luxembourg. And it's also really good exchange opportunities um, from people from different domains and different uh, countries. And um, secondly, I think the takeaway is also to, um, I think it's great to also see that, you know, there are so many startup founders that are very passionate about their companies. And while, you know, when you pitch, you'll see all the, everybody talk about their good things, uh, but you also see the transparency uh, when they share about the difficulties and the challenge. So the other takeaway from ICT, I think is a, great atmosphere and environment for people to open up and to have a more transparent discussions about the real entrepreneurship instead of just talking and uh, marketing about, you know, uh, the company itself. Right, right. So it's yeah. an honest exchange that you get on an yeah. international level. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for being the guest today. I certainly learned a lot. Me too. <laughs> Thank it you. was a pleasure having you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you Bye. for having me. Bye-bye. And that's all for today. This is Tech Talk. Technology Made Simple springs into action at the ICT Spring. Don't miss out on any future episodes by hitting subscribe. Thank you for listening and until the next episode.